But uh, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to get into a little hack that we might have stumbled upon on trying to get your inventory order or trying to get your Tesla Model Y order bumped up a little bit. And so I'm going to create this video and we're going to talk about this topic just to see if you can, you know, if there's anybody out there that this has happened to. And so we can try and post this trick out there and maybe other people can switch it, switch their order up to try and get their orders bumped up earlier as well. So let me know if this trick did work for you. If you did it pretty recently and so you know so that way we can help everybody else out there that is waiting for a tesla model y or even maybe model 3 too but probably not model 3 but specifically tesla model y so if you're just joining in my name is dennis i love talking about tesla hacking as i like to call it but basically just getting the best deal on a tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your tesla so if you're interested in any of that please hit that subscribe and today's video is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description if you want to support the channel but more on that later and thank you to John Wang for posting this question, I guess. Because there's always been uh, hacks to how to change your delivery or change your specifications uh, by you know changing from model long range to performance or vice versa. And performance used to be uh, you know always used to be a little bit of a hack in the sense that you get the uh, quicker because from what the website says. So if you look at long range right now, it says April June. If we switch it to performance, it says March to April. So of course Tesla bumps that delivery time or estimated delivery time up because Tesla really wants to sell these higher revenue cars earlier because they make more profit but it seems like some people have been doing a slight edit to their model y long range order specifically that might be bumping up their orders pretty recently and what that hack or that uh, specification change is is changing your tesla model y rims from gemini to 20 inch redux induction rims so this is a comment i've gotten multiple comments like this before recently at least within the past couple weeks but this is one i got very recently like five hours ago so we'll see you know this is what he's actually said so quote i upgraded my wheels to the 20 inch inductions and i was able to get the car in february picking up tomorrow hopefully there's no issues with the car fingers crossed emoji and so this might be a way to actually you know hack the system and to try and get your delivery bumped up earlier and if we try to look at this i guess like logically and see what other vehicles are out there in the model y inventory we can see here on waiting for tesla all these vehicles all these tesla model y's or at least most of them have the induction rims so maybe there's a surplus of induction rims that they're just trying to choose to put on induction rims first and so i'm not saying that you should do this to your tesla model y order and change that to two thousand dollars more but uh, if you're on the verge of potentially risking a 3750 discount or a $7,500 R tax credit, and then it potentially might go to $3,750, you might still win in the end if you're able to take it delivery uh, earlier than later. So let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know if this has worked for you. Have you done this recently? And what also, what date did you do it recently? And how, what did your, did your order delivery get, or estimated delivery date get pushed up and you took delivery? Because I want to know, is this actually a valid hack or is it just, you know, mostly coincidences at this point or coincidences? Because, you know, the Tesla tax credit or the federal tax credit for the Tesla Model Y vehicles and the Model 3 vehicles do, it does change sometime in March, but we just don't know exactly what date that actually is. It could be March 1st. It could be March 31st. We actually have no idea. We heard yesterday from a few Tesla people or from a few people that asked that question to their Tesla advisors that it potentially might be pushed all the way to the end of March, but we just don't know if that's any confirmed thing any, at all. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this has worked for you. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description of the Patreon link so you can support the channel. So definitely check it out if you're interested.